from the News Channel 5 Network and Out and About newspaper. This is Out and About Today, sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Hello and thanks for tuning in to Out and About Today. I'm Chuck Long and on tonight's show we are looking at the highly anticipated movie Moonlight which centers around an African-American male's coming of age and coming out story. And later Brent and Pam look at what's hot in fall and winter fashion with Milton White. But right now, what's hot is Buzz about, and Pam and Brent are here, so let's just dive right in. Great to see you guys. Hey, you too. All right, so the first topic is Moonlight, and this is a movie that is generating a lot of buzz, um, and kind of harkens back to the way when Brokeback Mountain first came out, and it generated a lot of buzz, too. I first want to ask you guys, do you remember when Brokeback Mountain came out? Oh, Absolutely. Yes. What yes. year? 2006? Uh, about that yeah. year? Yeah. yeah. I remember going, I went to the press screening and just the reactions and stuff. It was interesting. Well, and, and when that movie came out and it was such a big movie and people even, you know, with the subject matter, they weren't sure of the studio. And of course, it was very glad that, uh, you know, it did so well at the box office. But do you think that it moved things as far along as they thought it would as far as more movies with big subject matter, like big LGBT subject matter like that? coming out. Did it move it as fast as they thought it would, would or do you think there's a little stall? You know, I, I think, may, uh, did they go, with, what am I trying to say? Yes and no. Like, I think more came after that, but maybe not central, central characters, as you were saying. Like, it took a little, it's like, okay, we've sort of, we've, but we've cracked the ceiling, now uh -huh. let's kind of finish breaking it slowly so that we can actually get people to come watch it. Right. If that makes sense. Yeah, you know, sure. Like, yeah, I, I think you're right. And it was before that. It wasn't 2006. I think it was like 2003 or 4. Uh, yeah, 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 it was yeah, earlier. Yeah. You know, we've talked about other movies, too, uh, like Carol. We talked about last year, and we said... You know that sex scene maybe wasn't made like. Remember the broke back, back mountain sex scene? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, for it. Of course, you guys remember. <laughs> one of my, but so I do think it it moved it along, and it was there was Oscar winners, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Best director, best screenplay. Yeah. yeah. But did it do everything? No. Yeah, yeah, 2005. 2005. Just, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so we're talking about that. Now there's a movie, and in the African American uh, culture, a lot of times, you know, being gay is very hard to deal with and coming out and that sort of thing. And so this movie is addressing it. So we're going to take a look right now at Moonlight, and we'll talk about it on the backside. Who is you, Sharon? I'm on time, try not to remember. At some point, you gotta decide for yourself who you gonna be. Can't let nobody make that decision for you. You gonna tell him why the other boys kick his ass all the time? What's wrong? I'm good. No, I just seem good, and you ain't it. Remember the last time I saw you? So it really looks like a great movie, it does. and uh, that's going to be in wide release uh, at the end of October. Um, what do you think a movie like this can do to further the conversation? If people see it, I mean that's the thing. And I asked you if it was in wide release because I wondered if people see it. I think it can open a lot of eyes, you know, because you can. I think from that preview, and I watched an extended one. Right. You're going to see what this young man had went through, right, in his childhood mm -hmm. of coming to terms with who he is, and it looks like there was a young romance, and then they. I mean, I don't know. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. Right. Yeah. And you. When you get attached to people, that what, when you hear a story, it makes all the difference, right? Absolutely. Well, and that's what I'm hoping, because I, I mean, I've talked with my friends in the, in the African American community before about similar topics, and it is much more of a different sort of take. You know, there's a, they call it a lot of folks are on the DL, on the down, down low, low right. You know, right? And they live their life that way, and it, and even if people may know, they don't necessarily even talk about it. So it, even talking about it, acknowledging it, like like you said, this movie may do, I hope does at least further that conversation mm -hmm. for the ones who are ready to talk about it, because they can talk about the movie and then maybe roll it into their own personal experience. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now I want us to take a look at another, uh, it's a short film that uh, recently aired on MTV and talk about really opening up the conversation if we all remember the stereotypes of how you were supposed to be a male. <laughs> so this, mo this, this short is called American Male. Again, we're going to watch a clip and then we'll talk about it on the back side. Order beer, not wine. And beef, not chicken. 
Never liked beer though. And no tofu. Can't get more gay than tofu. Steer clear of the arts unless you live on the coasts. That means no theater, dancing, painting, poetry, or prose. Okay, so as you can see from some of those clips, it's basically kind of focusing on how gender norms make it hard for us to be who we really are. So kind of, what's your reaction to seeing that? Well, when I was watching it, I was wondering about you guys. Because <laughs> I, I, I shared with you that my experience hiding my uh, lesbianism was a little different. But, so, uh, could you relate to those th hiding? Oh, oh absolutely. Like yeah. we were saying before we started, I remember when he started talking about the way in which just people cross their legs, you know, that's, has, it was something I, I actively paid attention to as a kid, because you did, you noticed, especially in church, the women would sit like this, and the men would sit like this, and if you even sort of started sliding that direction, you're like catching your, and it just, it really made no, I mean, you're crossing your legs, whatever comfortable is comfortable, you know, I mean, it, and I love the fact, though, that this show is making it a conversation where yeah. mm -hmm. you don't feel like you have to order a Budweiser and not a Budweiser light. You or know? beer versus wine, because that's yeah. another oh gosh, thing yeah. I remember vividly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh my God, if you drink wine, you know, just crazy. So many times I would literally go into a store and I might be sitting like a bath and body and I might be, you know, shopping for a candle for me or something. Of course, I'm like, I would put it up there. I'm like, uh, I need some gift wrapping because this is a gift or something. Oh, I mean, you, you were that? like really, you were oh, acting. You were acting. <laughs> you know? but, but that's why, and, and you know, one thing, maybe next month, we can also kind of talk about how this affects the lesbian community mm -hmm. because oh, yeah. it's you know a lot of similarities there sure yeah sound good yes okay all right well coming up milton white joins pam and brent for a look at hot fall and winter fashion so you're watching out and about today